are back with the very, very strong Christopher Joyce. All right, welcome for the night podcast. We're here with our special guest. Wait, where is he? Oh, there he is. All right. Oh, shit. Christopher Joyce. This dude is an absolute monster. I've been following him for like 10 years. Can can they see what we see right now? Oh, yeah. I think they can pick up with what I see. see seeing, yeah. A beast. That is crazy. <laughs> yeah, we definitely never had a guest come in like that. No. No. <laughs> no, definitely different. <laughs> mm. But yeah, I've been following him for like That's 10 years. That's all strength. Bro. What's good, bro? How you doing? <laughs> No, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. in, no, that's the way to do it. All right, so AC was on, so we just shut them off. Now we're good. And we were just asking you, um, so you were on the Allen show, which is crazy, and then you were on a different show with Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Oh, all right. No, no, no. Lift. It's lift, because if he roll, he's roll. Lift. Come on. Get it. It was called the um the Go Big Show. It, it first season, like it was premiere, and um the crazy thing about it is it was directly in the COVID pandemic, so you had to get a bunch of tests and not the regular like little swab. No, they do your throat and your nose. You, you, you go all like up to the second knuckle. Yes, yeah, and, and that's crazy. It was like nurses watching you to make sure you went that far. You can like cheat. Yeah. Oh, you did it yourself? They didn't do you, it? You, you had to do it yourself. They wasn't touching nothing. Because mm. people were scared at the time. Because this is the height. It was oh, the height. Yeah. Right. It was the height. And it was me and my mom. My mom was like a little like sad about it. But, you know, we, we, we ducked it out. It's crazy. Where, we, that's how you do it. Dedication. No, go ahead. Because mm-hmm. um, <laughs> you were talking about the show with Snoop Dogg. Now, where, where was that? I didn't catch that. So where, where was that shown? It was in Atlanta. Um, I don't know the Zach. It starts with an M. I can't pronounce it, but it's in Atlanta. Okay, okay. And they put us in this hotel, like pay for the hotel and everything, food and everything. But they yeah. told us we can't do anything. You have to stay in your room. They would deliver the food at the door. And um, after you get tested every day, then you go to the... Um, Whatever they recording the yeah. the show at, oh, and then you see like the Snoop and everybody coming backstage and say, "Yo, it's good." Oh what? yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, so you, were, you actually connect with him. Yeah, got to... I actually talk to him and everything. He's tall. He's the same person like he is on camera for yeah. real. Like he's a dope person. Is that and the coolest person you met, like for celebrity wise, or what would you say is the? I'll say him and L is neck to neck for me. I know, like, yeah. like for them, they neck to neck for me because of the way, the way they vibe was, like. Oh Ellen yeah. Because I heard actually bad things about Ellen. Like, there's a lot of rumors that she like treats people poorly. And yeah, like she's not a good person. Yeah, we're yeah. coworkers. I can only and shit. talk from my my own perspective and my own experience. And I feel like when I went there, she paid for everything but that's you know that's nothing to them Mm -hmm. but not only that like my barbell got lost like it got lost uh, like um from the plane Mm -hmm. it got lost and i'm like dang like i i have to pay for another barbell she paid for that um they was telling me not to hug her they was like don't hug ellen whatever you do the people backstage don't hug COVID because covid stuff uh, no covid didn't happen then it was like that was right before covid it was february that that happened she's just uncomfortable with it she, as soon as she saw me, she hugged me mad tight. And then during a the commercial, was took the cape for me, is she asked me what song I want to hear. And I told them, play Drake, obviously. That's my, not my favorite. And um, she, she like, w- like, little things like that matters to me. Like, what song you want to hear during the break? You want to hear, any, I play anything you want. Are you okay? Oh, nice. Catering to the guest. Yeah. yeah. She was like, oh, one time me and um, Michelle Obama did push-ups, and I felt like she cheated because she wasn't going all the way down. During the break. <laughs> yeah. During the break. She wasn't like, there's a lot of people I work, and celebrities that I work with that. Oh, shit. Um, as soon as the cameras are off. As soon as the cameras are off, it's like you're not there no more. It's like, yeah. oh, yeah, okay, guys. Like, you know, what's the, the, the oh, for really? her? Yeah. yeah. She was like, you good? She's How you kicking feeling? it, yeah. Yeah. You, are you nervous? Don't be nervous. You're doing great. You look great. You're strong. I appreciate you coming. She was like that. So I... Were you I, nervous? I was nervous. Yeah. Because that was your first show too. Yeah. And um, she told me to come that day. Like I sent my... Um, I went to her site and I sent my video, my application, everything. And the day of, she was like, come. What? Oh, shit. And I was like, what? And my girl Leslie um, drove me there with... Like the, that day, I just shout out to, to Leslie. Shout out to Leslie in the background. It's a real one, <laughs> yes, Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. So, 
I was nervous because I, I couldn't really mentally be prepared. You know, I wanted to be there because I felt like Ellen's great. She gives a lot of people opportunities. And yeah. I had one debate with a person like, what do people like Ellen really do for someone? Like, oh, she does. She she gives you. She's not giving you anything out of her own pocket. It's sponsors. It's this. It's like, so if I go to you, Dan, Mike, Danny, if I go to y'all and I be like, yo, I really need a job. I really need a job. I'm like, yeah, I got you. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to someone I know that could plug you in. And I get it. I'm like, that like you don't matter. Like you didn't do nothing for me. Like yeah. imagine that. Yeah. Like, yeah. What? You, yeah, you, just, nah. you just didn't have no job. Like, yeah. she helped me. She, helped she, me created the, she made the opportunity happen. She made happen. the opportunity happen. Exactly, yeah. It's not the direct money coming from my pocket, but right. without her, I wouldn't be even getting the money. So right. shout out to Ellen, for real. That's dope. Yeah. How was nice. the, like, the crowd and stuff, being in front of a crowd? That, that was um, nerve wracking for me um, because in New York, I you, first you used of to all, street perform. So. Yeah, but I started street performing because I realized, like, I, I'm the pr- creator of this style. Mm-hmm. Like, and... I, I got a uh, block from someone, uh, I don't know his name, a while ago, like years, 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 years ago, um, taking some of my moves, which is fine. I was just went on his page to see it, but I was blocked. I never had a conversation with him, nothing. Mm-hmm. I, I thought I was weird. When you say you're the only one that does it, you're the only one that does it with the weights. With the barbells. And I'm the not, barbells. I'm not does it now, but I'm the one who created it. Gotcha, created gotcha, okay. It. And um, some, some, some dude blocked me like years ago that I never talked to him anything. I got tagged in his video. And I went to his page and I was blocked. I never talked to him or nothing. And I thought that was mm-hmm. weird. And that like started like some insecurities about what if people take credit of the creation of it. Not of, I, I want people to do it, but like the credit of being the originator of it. Oh that yeah, me. yeah. That scared me. So um, I was like, if I go on shows, if I like put myself out there more, no one could say that they did it. If I go on Ellen first, if I do whatever first, yeah, then right. you'll be the you know? known so for that's it. Yeah. My, that was my. But if um, you're on Ellen. Then you have proof that you that I have proof. And Ellen's a big platform, so yes. that's like oh, if you are there, exactly. everybody sees it. Everybody yeah. sees it. So that's what that was my goal for that. And I'm gonna play the clip of it right now. Like bam. clip but in that clip it was funny because you see the crowd's reaction like i saw one girl like side eyed you like crazy she's like, like what the oh thing? that's what i got sidetracked by for my fault mike i got sidetracked but um when i was when i was creating this i practiced countless count before instagram was even created i right. practiced od and i realized when i performed in front of a crowd i mess up I mess up and it won't be crazy. It'd be like 25 people, whatever, like people I know. Noticeable be, enough for you or, no, or just to you? Yeah, just sometimes, for me, like, yeah. like, you know, in the hood, 25 yeah, yeah. people, it, it seemed like way more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and it's people I know. So it's like, I'm doing it, but I'm messing up. But behind the scenes, I, I know it every time. So I was like wondering why am I messing up? And I realized it was the pressure. It was the people looking at me. And that's when I started going to 42nd Street and, and practicing every, every um, um, day to get used to doing my moves in front of people. So when I, when I went to Ellen, I was nervous because it was a live crowd, it was on TV, and there's no take backs. If I mess up... Yeah, and you do it in front of... Especially yeah, if I people. mess up, it's the like... Day of, too. Bro, and they tell you, yeah. like, yo, if you mess up, you just gotta keep going. We can't, like, there's no rewind. Is Ellen live? Right. It's live. Like, yeah. yeah. There's no rewind. They see the crowd. The crowd is all sitting down. It's yeah. all sitting that's down. They make, they, they'll hold up a sign, like, laugh, clap. <laughs> But you rolling, and that's yeah. it. So I'm like, I have to. I got one rehearsal, mm-hmm. and I have to have to know this now. And if I don't, everybody gonna see it. If I do, everybody gonna see it. So that's how I look, you know. And you were so. telling me like that's your goal. Like you want to push for like more commercials, more TV time, more like, TV time. I want people to know that I'm the creator. I still don't think I should be more popular than I am. Your more ability is like crazy. I, if you just shit, put out more. Content, More bro, content. you're gonna kill it. And better content. I'm humble though. Like I'm humble. I know that is room for growth. Yeah, because what's people. on your so- what's on your socials now? So you got a big following. Um, like sixty-eight or oh, sixty-seven, something like that. On, on the, IG. On the, on the on TikTok. IG. No, on IG. Oh, on IG. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah I got the TikTok unlocked. 
but my IG is doing well. Drake followed me a few. I was gonna damn. You just got my to my next question because I was gonna roll into that when you said that you, your favorite rapper is That's Drake. The goat. So That's the goat. I was like, how did you even? How did you? How come on his radar to get his attention? Because I saw that he follows you. Well, I can only talk from speculation. So there was a time, you know, we all catch a little fire at a certain time, mm-hmm. and it was before the pandemic. I was getting shared on like news channels and mm-hmm. um, ESPN and stuff, and right around that time. Early, early in the morning, I saw the follow from him. And I went there. I, I, I clicked on it to make sure it wasn't a fake page. Right. I wasn't yeah. sure. You know, I went there. I and this like, is somebody who's already your favorite. So my, when you see this, you're... Like, no funny. Like, yeah. r- for real, for real. That's, like, my, my favorite. That's, that's all I listen to, really. Right. Like, always been my favorite, though. Like, not just because of now, but always. Since, right. like, um, going in for life. Like, old freestyles that people don't even know. That's always been my, my favorite. So, like, I think he knows he's my favorite. I think that he, he went had a through, feeling, bro. Yeah, like because I've had certain things in on my page that I was using song some of his songs years ago, and I think that he like scrolled through it and was like, "Nah, I rock with this guy." Nice, like, I rock with this guy. That's my guy. That, that's my guy right there. Bro. I, I, I Damn, that's what's it. up. That's you gotta, you gotta meet Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to Toronto. That, that's the only reason I'm going. For, nah, that's not the only reason, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> but Shout out to Toronto. Oh, yeah. Are you actually going to Toronto? No, I'm going to go to Toronto for sure. Soon? I have to. Like my favorite, first of all, my favorite artist is there, so I have to go. But I always wanted to go to Toronto. So, so it came. So it came shortly after you started going viral. ESPN started posting you. Then mm-hmm. that's when you saw the follow. Yeah, it was like that. That day after, early in the morning, my, my parents were. Sleeping. I remember like it was yesterday. My parents were sleeping. My mom, my dad was alive at the time. My mom, they were sleeping, and I wanted to share the news with them because they know that right. he's my favorite. They know like all the time. Like right. like when my dad's like, "Yo, he he takes song requests. He don't have to ask me for my. He knows zero to hundred is like my go to. <laughs> yeah, that's my go to. Like in competitions, because I'm one of like I'm I'm a top guy in New York. You feel me? So. So, like, I, the handstands and stuff, I don't lose. You know, I'm not saying I can't, but I haven't lost. Races, yeah, I don't he lose smoked races. me. Roll the clip. Handstand- How did the- <laughs> Competitions <laughs> we raced. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I wanted to share the news with them because they really know, but they were sleeping. So, I was holding that in that, that whole morning, like, yo, I can't believe That's this. That's wild, bro. <laughs> I can't believe this. My yeah. boy, my favorite rapper. Shout um, out to Drizzy. And you traveled a lot of places, too. You said you were in Italy for... Yeah, uh, I did a show in Italy. Of course, they made me sign some non-disclosure. N- but the show was the show was good. It's going to come out soon. Oh, I didn't even know. That. Is, it was unreleased. Oh, you can't say what it is. I can't say what the show is, but basically I perform. There's judges. Um, it's a crowd with judges, too. Nice. And um, the craziest thing about it is that, that that was different than the other shows I did mm-hmm. is that they put, like, um, a translator in your ear because I, you know, I can't sp- yeah, speak there to language. the judges, right? To the judges and everything, and I have to listen and go. Like that was that was a new experience for me. It was is, crazy. It, is it is it like a? I don't know, you can't say too much, but it's like kind of like America Got Talent type of search type it's of thing. Si- it's similar to it. It they just involve the um, the crowd a little bit more, and they put your scores up against other people's scores. I mean, American Got Talent does that too in a way, yeah. Right, but so, it's so- it's similar though. It's like. The stage is like the same thing. Mm-hmm. The you, people's, it's a lot of people. Did you have to talk back in Spanish? Italy. That's what you're saying? I mean, it's Italian, Italian sorry. I, I talk back in English, and the person in my ear is t- translating it and translating it back to, oh, back to me. And yeah, it's a lot going on. It was crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you just recently came back from that? Yeah, I just recently came back from that. It was, it was wild. And, and then you just got hit up by another show, America's Got Talent, right? Oh, you staying busy. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, no, he's good. Yeah. Bro. But the, the crazy thing, they hit me up before of this, but I, I didn't see the email. Like, sometimes emails, I don't know what they it is. They end up in your junk it, regardless. It, it, yeah, right. I'm like, what? Or you don't know what's bullshit or what's, you know. I had to real. go to, I go to spam all the time now because, yeah. like, sometimes you just, it, it yeah, you never some know. crazy messages there. Like, some good ones. So I go to spam and I see that America's Got Talent there that I never, I never knew. So I put it in my, I starred it, and I just recently replied, like, two days ago. So we'll see what happens with that. That's awesome. Thank you. Bro. Just keep pushing. Keep pushing. That's all People it need is. To know, like, because you know, no, yeah. it's and make as much videos as you can. All it's day. not easy doing a handstand on a barbell. I'm oh, better no. than like ninety nine percent of people that do handstands <laughs> and. Barbell handstands? You would think that's impossible. But Not easy. <laughs> like that should roll right, right yeah. out. <laughs> Whenever that's like crazy. was, oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead. Was this, so was this something that you just did as a hobby? You said, all right, let me let me just fuck around and try it, and then it started turning into like being serious. Like people that you started said, okay, well, 
I'm starting to get some reach. Like, this is actually, I could do something with this. Bro, you just, like, something that was so perfect. Like, yeah. when, I, when I was younger, but I, I was doing handstands, like, as a kid. And I loved it. Like, I, oh, that's one thing I felt free doing and mm -hmm. felt, like, in control of, you know, because, you know, I come from the Bronx. My life is not easy or anything like that. So, like, little things you feel control over, like, working out, you have control over. Handstands, I felt, like, I felt, I, I like the progress that I was reaching and the control over it. So I love handstands the most out of all workouts. I, st I do other workouts, but I love handstands the most. And being around competitions in New York, they have competitions like Bronx versus Brooklyn versus Queens, oh, yeah. teams and stuff. And I, I, I participated in them, and I've been a part of watching them. And I've noticed in people handstands, like people do dips, I mean uh, the parallels, um, a straight bar. And I was like, how can I bring something original Today. And this is like years ago. Like Instagram was not even thought of. Like these not even thought of. You know, mm. and I'm like, hmm, what if? Like, imagine in my head. Imagine doing it on a barbell and dumbbells. Imagine like doing it on something rolling. And yeah, I I went to the gym and I just started doing it behind the scenes. And then Instagram got created. And um, the owner of the gym, Crunch Gym, shout out to you, Asaf. He was like, the owner of Crunch, his. like all over the Crunch. No, he he's the owner of a few chains in, oh, okay, in the Bronx, say that too. and he has one in Brooklyn too. <laughs> Asaf has a few change chains, and he told me to I should post this. So Instagram, this, this is new app called Instagram. It just got created. You should post this, bro. Like this is this is great, and I was like. I haven't tried. That's mad funny because I would always watch your videos and I'd be like, how the, how the fuck is he not getting kicked out of the gym? And then if you know him He's like that. He's the one that, who gave me these dumbbells. I don't, yeah, yeah, I can't see it on camera. I mean, I could. Dude, he, this is official. This is official crunch dumbbells. Like official. Oh, like, this is not. <laughs> the OG. I steal these. The owner of Soft gave during, this to me. During, you sure? During COVID, they were walking up out of them with the, with the, <laughs> yeah. with the dumbbells. <laughs> That's during crazy. COVID, yeah, because during <laughs> COVID, I seen a few nobody people could, walking nobody out Nobody go to the gym. Huh? Remember, nobody, nobody was going to go to the gym. gym. Yeah, they were going, to, and they, they heard the gyms were closing down. So no they were way. They were and people were camping they out were for them dumbbells. at Walmart the same yeah. way yeah. they were doing cards. They were selling like $5 well, a COVID, pound. Oh, during COVID, you would try to go buy dumbbells. You try to go like on Facebook Marketplace, or you try to go buy, and they were upcharging like for this, for like a set of like that. Like 100 bucks. Like $50 yeah, like a dumbbell. like 100 bucks. Yeah. Bro, I didn't even have to pay for these. Like, he, I'll go to Gem and it'd be like my name on a box, and it'd be like Joyce or Chris. And Asaf, he just. He, Asaf is like, I believe in God, and I feel like he's he's heaven sent, like a part of my my journey. Like he made my journey, like my my development easier. That's awesome. having a place to practice is having, always like a, yeah. It's, it's good when people believe in you. Yeah, he it don't have to makes you even push no. even more. Yeah, because they're facts. you know they're watching and they they know you're gonna do something good. Word, and I'm just trying to create something original at the time. I'm not thinking about direction. Yeah. That what I'm, he's like, you should post it. You should do, cause he's older. He's an older guy. He already has a, he already owning stuff. I'm a, I'm a young kid. This is like, I don't even know how many years ago. 15 maybe. I don't even know. How old are you now? I'm 29. 29. I'm 20. Yeah. 23? 28. Oh, I wish I was 23. <laughs> You look 23. You got the so, baby face. Yeah. <laughs> I shaved we this morning. Somebody, baby face Izzo. Somebody in the comments on TikTok, they saw Izzo. They were like, I can't tell if he's 12 or 40. Oh, yeah. I get that. <laughs> <laughs> That's like one of the comments that kills me, bro. Yo. Yeah, you're scared. Funny. Everything. Like, you just have the most babyest face ever. You should just be like on a, like Netflix. Maybe a you Pampers should, commercial. You should. Yeah. Bro, you should. <laughs> You should contact Netflix for some type of role. Yeah, he could uh, use you. I got hit up on uh, Hulu. Got, yeah, I was about to say. But you. I did so bad on the interview, I was shook. I was nervous as hell. Tell That's me all you. Right, though. That was People, one. You got to keep trying. And, like, bro. Nerves play a big part, bro. It you play a big really... part. And nerves varies, bro. It mm -hmm. varies. It, nerves is not like, okay, now that I got 42nd Street, mm -hmm. I got that. Like, I have Ellen. Mm -hmm. it, it felt way bigger than 42nd Street. No, you know? Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, for real. And... Hulu, like, is different than, like, you know, just, like, and it, it's, right now, I have nerves, but yeah. I'm, yeah, make me feel comfortable, you feel me? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> we but, try to keep this a real chill atmosphere. Yeah, we, try to yeah, yeah we got the lights down, we got some chill. drinks. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but, like, this is big as well. Yeah, I fucked it up bad. I was shook, like, crazy, couldn't say a word, but the first question they asked me, literally the first thing they said was, what kind of content do you create? And my shit's so weird. So, like, when I try to explain it, I'm like, I got pieces up over the place. And then I was like... Oh, that's what like, you said to them? Yeah. You should have like, just said you did fitness content, like, well, sporty yeah, I type of... Yeah. Yeah. He said it, yeah. like, he said it, he, 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 I'm sure if you would have thought about it, but you choked up because you kind of were, like, nervous. Yeah. We should have did some runs. I should have yeah. interviewed you. Oh, yeah. So then they were like, 
Facts. They're like, you're saying too much. That's and I was like, the guy knew what I did. So I was like, how would you say it? And he goes, he goes, oh, no, you're right. That's really hard to explain. Oh, that's what he said? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it didn't matter because the show actually never made the season, the second season. So. Oh, it didn't? But the first season was good. It's called Exposure on Hulu. Mm. Pretty cool. It's about content creators trying to make different content. Bro, I don't I care if it. a season, I don't care if seasons go from, like, they go 5-1. Being a part of anything that's, you know, is... Yeah. Because you'll get seen by millions of people. Yeah. I just wanted to be nervous as fuck. Like, because I knew I would be. And it was just something I wasn't comfortable doing at all. So I was like, let me try it. Yeah. yeah. And we've been, I've been getting all, better at talking here. Uh, Mike, what show you want to be on? Whatever show I can get on. Bro, but at this point, they are 90, they're, makes pays the most. Boy, yeah. they, <laughs> they're, they're, paid. They're, they're on 90 Day Fiance right now. And they're, but they really just do it to do the show. They like. Oh, they do, really want the love? Because. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I think sometimes, like, sometimes but then when they're real, but sometimes I think it's just scripted because oh, it is because Flavor Flav had a show, definitely, right? Definitely. Because oh for, yeah, for the followers, no one wants to whether <laughs> whether they make it or not or whatever, they're, they're still gonna get their own brand up from nice. doing. Yeah, no one actually wants media. to date Flavor Flav. No, <laughs> no. Flavor but of love. He was a trendsetter though. We gotta give him his. Props. Oh no, he's he's like, he's a trendsetter thing, regardless of that show. Yeah. But come on, you're right. No one wanna date Flavor Flav. Yeah. No, shout out to Flav though. <laughs> but that show was that show was crazy. That show was one of intense. Like, it was the first of its kind. Yeah, I never, no one never seen something like that. So now you know everybody's doing it. But shout out to Flea. <laughs> shout out to Flea. <laughs> um, what show would you want to be on? Like if you had to pick one, I know you got some coming down the like the pike. But if I had to pick a show, that's a good question. I'm well, that one lie. you mentioned was that's big. That's a that's huge America. question. The one that you said, you said America's... Is it America's, America's Got America's Talent. America's got got talent. Yeah. I want to do that because that's the biggest like, that's talent a big show. Platform. That's a big platform. So I'm, th- I'm thinking I'm going to go for it for sure. So I'm doing. I'm going to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go for that one. Yeah. But like a dream show. Um, I want to per- perform for events. I want to perform for private events. I want to perform for music videos. I want to... Oh. Remember um, the, the music video with Sia? When she had the girl uh, chandelier. Oh yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna sing because I know how copyright works. I'm not gonna sing it, but you know, one, two, <laughs> no, three, you one, can two, sing three. it. You're allowed to. No. You remember? Yeah. You remember that song? Yeah, right? yeah. the cover. Yeah. 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 She had her be the star of the video, mm-hmm. right? I want to do that for someone's video. It could be Drake. It could be anybody that's popping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I and I mean that opportunity could happen. He follows I, you, so it yeah, might, you know. Yeah, shout out to Drizzy. That opportunity could definitely happen. And when I clip this up for him, and he's gonna see this. Yeah, right. He'll be all Facts. right. He'll be if he's following you already. Facts. So I would like to do things like that. And if any TV, sometimes you don't even see yourself in certain opportunities. As long as you develop what you're good at, other people will see it. Like all these shows, besides Ellen, I saw myself in that one because mm. she developed her plot. Exact like. What I'm saying... So you applied for Ellen? I applied for Ellen. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying literally is the same thing of like towards like, you know, vice versa with Ellen. She developed her platform in regards of bringing new talent and new this and giving them exposure. Like how she gave the, um, the girls that's um, signed to Beyonce, Chloe. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. She get, she's the, one of the first people to give them any exposure. A lot of people. And she developed that. So I saw myself there. You know, yeah. it's a lot. So it's the same thing with me, like me developing my talent, me honing my craft and knowing what I do to explain it to everything. It develops. I mean, it will help a show if the exposure I have see that, oh, I could use him because of the way I develop myself. Yeah. I don't have to. Not all the time. I have to um, like the go big show. I did it. Um, contact them. They contacted me because they, they saw you know, and it's gonna be a lot of shows that's gonna do that in the future. I know. All I gotta do is well, because it's gonna be a domino effect. Because uh, the yeah. more shows, yeah. like the more shows you start appearing on, they'll start reaching out. Like I'm sure that what happened with Ellen. Probably Ellen happened right after that. Your phone probably started getting hit up. It did. It did. Go big show hit me up because of Ellen. Right. So it's. Mm-hmm. You tr- it's, it's a fact. It's a trickle effect. Yeah. Yeah. So you said Drake is your top. That's so, my boy. But I always ask people. I always ask people. It's my boy. I I always ask people what's their what's their like five what's their five. That they, Ooh, of all time or just right now? All time. All time? Or you know what? You could do five of yours. Five of like your favorites. Like Five of just my it, favorites. Um n- and no order. No order. I know Drake is one. So. Drake. Shout out to the boy. Um Cole. Cole, okay. J. Cole's fire, yeah. J. Cole's that's my guy. Um Tupac. Jada Kiss. 
the fi- the fifth is always the hardest. Like that's my four. Because you're fifth. gonna have to leave someone out. Like yeah, and there's so many greats. That's like you got Hove. You got so many people that is fire. Yeah, so Hove is not even in your five. It's not Hove, even five. Like like, like Hove is amazing. Hove like gives me so many great memories mm-hmm. that like he basically should be be there. Like I could put Biggie and all that, but I mm-hmm. listen to Hove more like throughout my life personally. Yeah, it's like same. leave like. Someone, oh, so I'm, su- I'm surprised you said Pac because usually Pac is like it's an eight of my pops. And oh yeah, okay, my okay. My pops played him so many so much that I, I developed love for him. Okay, and okay. For his music and his voice and um the way. He, and you said pops, you're, he passed. You said he right? passed. Oh, he passed. Um, at forty five years old. Oh wow. Uh, it was before COVID, and he passed. After um, doing a surgery, he got an infection. Um, I forgot what the infection is called, but um, he did a back from surgery the hospital. From the hospital, so they like didn't a staff? clean. They didn't clean the um, the equip the, the equipment right enough. Oh shit! And Damn. My mom took a lawyer that was recommended from a friend. I'm not gonna like. Put them on blast. Recommended from someone. Right, right, right. I'm not going to like call them out because you know I don't want to make anybody feel bad because it's not her fault for recommending somebody, but. Um, he did the surgery. It didn't happen. She she took the lawyer. The lawyer wasn't following. Wasn't doing her. And when my mom went to the police, of so like, yo, what's going on? Right. The lawyer was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, I didn't like. I didn't follow up. I made a lot of like this, that, and the other. He was making like doing mad. Run- she like recorded a comment and everything. Like, we never did anything with it. And she, basically, the time period of what you're supposed to do in court with a case like that, like with a hospital, passed. Oh. No way. Yeah. Yeah, so, so it so, was so, like so the the lawyer dropped the ball. Yeah, my my mom has a conspiracy mm-hmm. that the people at the hospital paid her off. Yeah, we're because it's so her. hard to go against hospitals because it's yeah paid they paid have the, like to like they have not follow tight, through, yeah. especially if it's recommended my, my because the hospitals know. are like the mafia, bro. Because yeah, they might my, they might know like we ain't, we're gonna have to pay a million, yeah. so uh, let's give this guy five hundred k to yeah, show if his you mouth. know a lawyer, or you know someone who like that rocks with someone, and you you chilling. But if you don't know, this is like someone that just a part of a something you know that you just yeah. got recommended so, and they never follow they haven't done nothing they did so much things that's wrong that they admit to on like i could get you the video for you so did he go for a routine he went for like a routine thing to do a surgery and they they messed up a, like so basically what he had was his spine was like something was like closing it to where like eventually will be he would be crippled that's it okay. and they just they said that they would do they, they have a surgery that they do all the time that they just open it and then he he's something good. simple made yeah. it sound like it was made it sound mad simple and he, he had to do it again because he got he got an infection from the first surgery and when they open they had to do it again in regards of opening it up to clear the infection but he still got sick from it and it closed like his thing and he wow. got a heart attack and shit like that his heart was good and everything and now like me Leslie, as a result of this of the Infection of the infection. Oh, so shit. like he was in the cr- he was in my house. He's in a bed. He was like he wants a nap because he's in pain. He w- went to bed and then we went and um, he wasn't responding. So me, my girl Leslie, my mom, um, we were like um, like trying to pump his chest and give him CPR, right, CPR and stuff, and he wasn't responding and stuff. And it was just like it was a dramatic dramatic experience. And it was like yeah, crazy. he was young Sad, guy. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, and so I, he, something similar to that happened uh, one of your friends recently because I I know your friend was texting you saying like I'll be I know this will all be over soon. It was just like something routine, and oh, then yeah. she ended up it not making oh, yeah. it. And it wasn't, yeah, that was. So it, you it never was, know when your time is going to be. Yeah, because yeah. she, you know, she made it sound to me like she was like, yeah, I just she booked she she was like, yeah, I just want to get this over with already. I got stuff to do. I'm about to graduate, and I got stuff lined up. Like young girl has her whole future ahead of her, and she didn't think anything of it. And you know there was. Something that happened in there, you know, something that happened in the hospital. It's crazy. Pro- yeah. and, 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 and probably it was something that was not expected. Maybe there was a chance that it could happen, but very small. But and you never know. When you never know what is. could happen. You yeah. don't even. That know goes the back to that. That goes, that, that goes back to that. I feel I'm, I'm a big believer in like we don't know our time when it's just your we time. That's it. That's, time. that's that's it. Even one of our guests almost died the other day. Money talks. Um, he was smoking he the hookah, and um, he didn't know that it was like given like carbon monoxide into his lungs oh, and he shit. ended up fainting and he almost died. He had to, uh, you're supposed to have like 2%. Ozzy? Yeah. What? Oh. He almost, he had like 26% carbon monoxide. You're only supposed to have like two max. 
and he almost died. How, but how, oh, did, wow. how, did, how did he know he had to get to the hospital? Was he, he fainted in front of his, his brother, and he said oh. he usually smokes alone, so good thing. Yeah, I, bro, I'd never smoked in my life. I'd, I'd never, never either. I never smoked anything I'm not judging least. smokers, though. Like, right. like yeah. not to mention anybody. I was, about to, I was about to, but I'm not, because, you know. <laughs> but anyways, I don't smoke, but I'm not judging it. I feel like, like marijuana stuff is from the earth. It's just whoever is, like, you know, Cooking it up in a way, not cooking it up. You know what I'm trying to say. Like they could be. They have chemicals. control over your body. That yeah, yeah, but like the actual someone you trust has from a trusted yeah. source. A yeah. trusted source, or that you grew yourself, whatever the case may be. So it, even the paper sometimes could be bad for you. You know. Yeah, that's so, true. So, um, but I so think you that's didn't, like, you didn't, I, you, didn't I, roll, I, you didn't roll one up with Snoop. I never. <laughs> That's, that's, that's like crazy that's like a bucket that might be thing. Goal, that's like that's that a, goal, that's a that goat is, right there yeah. that might that's be my crazy. one exception because I never smoked either but that's if, if Snoop asked me to I'd probably smoke with him yeah I don't you have to it. tell him I can't my, my, my bad Snoop <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yo we, let's, let's have a drink though you feel me <laughs> yeah but um yeah I never smoked I never smoked I would yeah. like if I ever did marijuana though. Yeah. I would eat, I would eat it. I would have it. That's like, something like that's a my go yeah. my go to. I would yeah. have an edible. Yeah. I like edibles. I mean, take to each. I feel like that's where it stops. Like weed is like cool. You drink, you know, smoke or whatever. But when it starts getting to some other stuff, like we have some friends, or we have some people that we know that we're they're like, yeah, I don't do any any of the other shit. I don't do any of the hard shit. I just do coke. And we're like, that is the other that shit. Is yeah. the <laughs> what are you talking what? about? That is the other <laughs> shit. Like that's wild. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, they do. That yeah. leads into other shit. Yeah, and they, they're all. Just, yeah, that's how you say. And then, yeah, and, then, and, then and then that's yeah, that's exactly what it does. It leads to all the other stuff that we're like, yeah, no, you keep that over there. That's like saying like I'm not violent, you know. Just unoccasionally, I like stab, stab. Bro, yeah, like, bro, I, <laughs> right? I, 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 had, um, yeah. I had my boy. T- one of my boys was it's telling insane. a story about how they did. He was like, um, yeah, they did acid or whatever. He's like, he's like, you ever did that? And I was like, no, bro, I never, never, I don't do anything. Yeah, I wouldn't fuck so with he acid. He did acid, and he was, I, he, I was like, how long did that last? And he was like, three days. And I was oh, like, bro, yeah. three days, God. and I get anxiety. You got to take me to the hospital. I got to go straight to the hospital. Like I can't, I'm not, bro. That's yeah, no joke. No, people take it every day, bro. That's wild. Acid. Every single day, they hopefully take it. it's yeah. okay. Right I think now. also when you start, like even with weed, you start using stuff every single day to function. Then it becomes like a problem. You say, but then you don't even really that, but know so, your so real this self. Is, so this is my thing. This is my thing when it comes to that, right? Because I remember at one time. I was addicted to Facebook when it first came out, mm-hmm. and I deactivated it for like a couple of months, and I came back. I feel like control isn't giving something up. It's to be able to do something at your will. Right. So it, it's like, like, like if I tell like my mom, for example, anybody, like, you know, my mom do like weed, and she does smoke and everything. I tell my mom, like, she's like, I, I'm going to quit. I'm like, that's not, I'm not telling you to quit or anything like that. What I'm telling you is to be able to have control over it where you want, you could do it when you want to. You could turn yeah. it off and turn it on. Yeah. yeah, whatever you want to. I want to do it on the weekends. That's it. I want to do it today. Like, whatever it could be. But you don't have that. Not like to my mom, but um, this is what you need. Not yeah. just quitting it cold turkey and a lot of right. people do that. I'm not going to have an Instagram because I don't want to, I'm in a relationship and I don't want to see people's, I mean, girls' cheeks. I'm not going to, I know people who don't have Instagram because they don't want to see, you know, they want to be enticed. And I'm like, that's not control. Right. Yeah. You you think you have control because you don't have Instagram, but no, that's not control. The control is, I could drink whenever I want, but I could also not. I I could eat whenever I want. I could stop. Yeah. 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 And that's what the true control is. And it's not easy. I'm not judging. No, it's, yeah, it's It's definitely tough. Everyone has like their, their thing, you know? Devices, yeah. But that's what you got to pay attention. You got to be This is a big, this is a big one too. The phone is huge. For me, it's video games. Like I, I, I just can't play them. If I if I play video games, I'll be a crackhead. So you don't I'll, have I'll control. Play yeah, so I, he, yeah. yeah, and now over video games. He kind of right? has control when to stop. Yeah, but then once he starts, yeah, he'll be on it twenty four seven. No wonder why he 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 does what he does. Yeah, well, I mean, that was. I think that's the problem with TikTok too. With TikTok, when I started, like <laughs> you could Leslie <laughs> TikTok. That's TikTok. the problem. He on it right now, probably. TikTok's because no, because you insane, start scrolling bro. and you're like scrolling, and you're thinking like, all right, what? But then the you realize. You waste like an hour or it's two. It's literally just keep, designed just to. Do it's, that. it's designed to never stop. So you're just constantly going like that. Yeah, it's insane. She's doing yeah, it right now. Then, I can see it right here. Yeah, she's, she's on it. it. You on TikTok? I see right now. She's on it. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. But we are entertaining people, humans. We 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 are amazing, low key. So we're entertaining. When you find someone entertaining, it's like I want to see something else, something else. Yeah. And TikTok does a real good job at showing you what you want to see. The algorithm. Yeah. It's <laughs> like you see one. You, you could speak about something. You ever that ever happened to you? Oh, oh yeah, always. Yeah. Did, did, did I ever creep you out? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 
Well, you, like, that's but, I, feel like you, I feel like sometimes you even think about something and the shit pops up. You don't even yeah. got to say it out loud. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shit reads it through your blood. Oh, no, it's crazy. <laughs> your, pul- your pulse. Yeah. Like, yo, I, need, yeah, hey, I need some new kicks. And yeah, it just like pops that. up. That shit's pop up. I'm about to get some new. I need fresh yeah. white ups. <laughs> and then out of nowhere, it's in your TikTok. Like, yo, remember yeah. like a whole video? Like, what? The yeah, phone is insane. definitely listening on convos. Bro. Oh, yeah, it ha- has to. It's definitely because if Siri problems. could, if you could talk to Siri, they could hear everything you're saying. Oh, I yeah. was I was telling Leslie the other day about um, um you think that I'm feeling you, that go bunch like that's oh, the song. Song. and I, she was like I don't know what you're talking about at the time I don't know what you're talking about and then I go home it's, it's like all and over our phones like, yeah all over it's like bro she got she got popping because now um, Drake signed her yeah, yeah. Th- I don't think he signed wait her. what what's the song but he, he, he didn't sign her he didn't sign her but no 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 he he just he just cut yeah he kind of like yeah he hit the boy he said like yeah. You know? hit, like he hits the DMs because he's one thing about Drake that I that I noticed and seen is like he's very in tune with what's he's what's next, what's going on. Yeah, he knows what's or like pop off. You think that he's not? He doesn't have. He that's has a hit ear, song. That's a hit on everything. Like Bro. Jay, like Hove does that too. You think Hove is like they think Hove is like in another world. Like he ain't even, but Hove knows exactly he what's knows going exact, on. He, exactly, and I, I could I could literally yeah. like back you up on that statement. Yeah. Like Drake is in tune. One, he follows me. Why? Like, I don't right. rap or anything. I mean, I could, but I don't, you know, I don't do, he followed me because he's kind of into, he wanted a better body and stuff right. like that. But not just that, battle rap, I don't know if y'all know about battle rap, but he's the reason yep. for why it's free right now because of caffeine. He's the, re- he funded everything about battle rap, which is, you know, I, s- I seen him at the, Euro, at the URL, URL events and, and everything. Yeah. He's a really big, that's in tune alone. Right? Yeah. It's in tune alone, well, a lot of things. Hove yeah. in a Kevin Hart interview, he said that he don't usually um, charge for his features. Mm-hmm. He does it for the love, and he don't have to do that. He's right. Hove, and he does it for the love. So for things like DJ Khaled, it's for the love. Um, the song he did with Nas, yeah. at one time they had beef for the love. Yeah. yeah. Um, to even do business with with Nas and stuff at the after he matured, matured. Yeah. <laughs> That's how he did. And, 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 and I, think, yeah, I think at this point, did. Jay, like if. If he's gonna do an album, it's gonna be if he wants to, and it's gonna be a surprise, and it's gonna be. I think now he just. I think he. I should. think now he just addresses everything he has to do he in features. Things, yeah. He's in the features, and then chilling. and then that's it. Like he's he's good. He been giving some good verses. The the this verse, the verse with um you mentioned him earlier. Push Pusha T. T. The one with Pusha T is crazy. He killed that verse. And but dog, but dog, like it's like I said, hit. I think I don't think we've ever seen this. We've no, we haven't. Not even we've never seen it in rap where an artist has been in his fifties and can still. You know, shake up, shake up the world like shake that. Up the world. Why he's Shout been putting stuff out? That Jay? verse was like yeah. what? Five yeah, he just came long, out with a, he just came out with a crazy verse on the Khaled album. Yeah, amazing. And, God and, did. But but I'm just God. saying. I'm, I'm, God. Did. God did. I'm just. Yo. Bro, but excuse me. All good. But um, to your point, I feel like it's because of Hole's brain. I feel like the, uh, mental is not as commendable. In life, and especially in a rap game, that it is like right now that it is in regards of like being in the streets, phys- physicality, and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But like, Hove has a great brain, mm-hmm. and his brain is w- what got him w- where it got him, right. and it's still, you know, and that's why he. That's my top. That's my. That's he's on my top five. Like, if I were to get my top five, then he's he's, he's w- number, number one. one. He's number one. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, Hove is in my top because five. he like, yeah. He's not. He's not, or he is. He is. He's, oh yeah, he's, yeah. He's not in no order, but he's in. He's in my top five. No, he's in the five, but also there's Drake in the five Drake. for me. Ooh, um, okay. You can't not have Drake. No, you nasty, can't have. You bro. cannot have have Drake. He might not be in my um, five. But. Any song no, he dro- every song he Ken, drops Ken, is a hit. Kendrick, Travis, um, Kanye. Travis. Yeah, Kendrick. Travis really? Scott, Travis Scott is like one of my. Oh, I won't say like <laughs> lyric, so, but I'm not again. I'm not saying lyrically. I'm not saying it's, like. Yeah, I'm it's just saying you I'm, enjoy. I'm just saying because I enjoy Kodak. Kodak's like my top. He loves Kodak, Kodak Black. Black. So uh, my personal like I, in my, in my I, car, I, agree with, I love I agree every Kodak. I, not, yeah. I don't agree with your choice, but I agree yeah. with the decision of picking something that you pers- personally like because right. picking something just because they are skillful doesn't matter. If you don't listen to them, there's a lot of people who pick Eminem because they know how skillful he is, but they don't listen to him. Exactly. No. Yeah. And also make Nobody can take away that he can rap. Em can rap his ass. Em is off, amazing. But it's the it's it's the yeah, songs. That sometimes, verse he did was amazing. It's oh yeah. It's sometimes the songs, the songs that he comes out with that I'm like. Well, that's like why I, I don't like Kendrick because like I don't like his voice. I don't. It doesn't. 
do anything for me, but you have to enjoy it. See, I love, yeah, I love, I love, I love <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's see, a, the, my favorite the, song the, of him. Though. The part that he doesn't like about Fire. the voices, the part like, see, I like that out of Kendrick. Like he changes up his voice, he switches up it. his flows. Push you know, me like, ooh. that's something that Eminem, <laughs> Eminem, ooh. Eminem used to do that. Eminem used to do that. Yeah, yeah. switching up. The, yeah. I feel like Kendrick is, he's someone else that has a brain like Hov in the regards. I'm not comparing Eminem, mm. but I feel like his brain gets crazier and crazier. Like. To me, this new album is my favorite by him. Like personally, and what he done, like who Kendrick? The, Kendrick, oh, the, yeah. the the heart part five, part five, that has to be the the yeah. one of the best freestyle visuals ever. Like especially in twenty twenty, like that was insane. Yeah, that was like I actually teared. I've been seeing clips. That. I've been seeing clips. You seen the clips of him on tour with um he's on he's doing shows with like Baby Keem and and in New York. They shut down it. that whole arena was crazy. The 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 Jesus. Thing that he oh yeah, with. yeah. The Tiffany crown, the Tiffany, uh, Tiffany diamond crowns. And you're talking about Kendrick, right? Yeah, even, Kendrick. At, even the halftime show. Like, I'm not a fan of Kendrick, but he was but the best performer. It. Oh yeah, he, he was the only performer it. that I actually like. Kendrick I know these are all like goats and stuff, but yeah. If I was to recommend a song to you, to Kendrick, I'll send it to you. But like, you saw the Hot Pro Five? No. You need to watch that. That right there. I, do you know who Nipsey Hussle is? Yes. Okay, you know Kobe is all all these people. You just need to watch that freestyle with an open mind right. and just just take it in, soak it in, just soak it in. It's one of the greatest things of like I've ever seen. That was Cole, 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 Cole is another one. I could play his albums back and forth. I like J Cole. Bro, you know, yeah, J Cole. You know, what, you know what pissed me off? Something Joe Button said. Well, Joe Button's always uh, pissing people off. You know what pissed yeah. me off? Shout out to Joe. It's not nothing personal to Joe, but his everybody on the show. They said that Wale would beat J. Cole in the verses. And that's kind of crazy. And I'm a Wale fan. Crazy. I do like Wale. That's wild to me. You know, I, you know I, what that's wild to me? Because I was telling everybody before, like, I, I was telling everybody that Locks would be um, um, Dipset. You know, now it's like, yeah, I would, but. I, it's a lot of people who pick Dipset. I was one of those had, people. Yeah. I was, I, like, I was like, no, Dipset got this because. This, of the hits they have more hits right but that doesn't matter when it comes to when it comes to our verses i know that already because of like being with my dad and stuff he's really into music my favorite artist of all time is michael jackson but i'm not gonna get the whole spill yet but um again from your from your dad from michael jackson dad, michael jackson i love my i'm, I'm so in depth of, i love michael jackson I but because him. of my dad i kind of like I'm like no i gotta stay away from that guy because my dad gets a little crazy. He'll, he'll wear Michael Jackson gloves and oh, his brain is just isn't right. <laughs> yeah? Is yeah. The greatest, uh, no one could, in a versus, I don't feel like no artist could beat him. Like R. Kelly smoked, get him out of here. Oh, he's, pa- he's packed up he's anyway. Packed oh, up. He's Prince, done. Yeah, Prince yeah, yeah. packed up. Packed up. He's packed up. A lot of people is packed up. Everybody. Usher, Chris Brown at the same time. No offense to them. Packed up. But anyways, in the verses, Amarion versus Mario, right? A lot of people pick Amarion because of the hits. He has more hits than Mario. I knew that Mario would win. I just, I knew it because of, I watched, no one goes. Even though that whole show was a disaster. That whole the show. The whole thing, but Mario killed it. Yeah. But when, when I'm chilling with my pops and I'm chilling with people and everything, no one comes over. When they, when they ask for a Marion song, they ask for the song. No one says, can you play uh, uh, this, can you play the Play the version? artist. You know, can you play the live version? Like, there's a lot of performances by Beyonce, Hove, and everything mm-hmm. that sometimes you like the live better than the actual song because of right. what they brought to that live. Michael Jackson, come on. Jay, a, a lot of people. Amaria, no one ever brings up a lot like that. I knew he was going to lose. I knew that the loss was going to win. So, J. Cole, did you ever see J. Cole and Wale live? I've seen. I've never I've seen, seen J. Cole one. live. Amazing. And I've seen, I've seen both, yeah. Love Yours live? Yeah. Amazing, uh, um, beef uh, free. Yeah. No, he it's crazy. Amazing, like I'm, everything. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a Wale fan. I do like Wale. No, Wale is great, but uh, but in a, in, a, in a versus that would be kind of crazy because Cole know? has Cole has a lot. I have Cole. You have Cole. Who you got? I have Cole. I fuck with Cole. I was just bumping I him like yesterday. Cole. Cole? Yeah. I would say Cole, but I, like I said, that's not to say Wale is definitely in my. He's in one of my favorites too. You favorites. know, an artist I I didn't like too much until I saw live. Cool, Drake. Yeah, you I went to Drake what? versus Lil Wayne. Drake, and I was like, you wow, didn't like bro. him until then. I liked him, but I didn't like like him. Like, what, like what, what, I, first, I wasn't first like. First of all, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question. Everything. Right Any now. song that Drake drops, bro, is a bro. Hit. It's a hit. But it was Drake versus Lil Wayne in Hartford, and that was what? so good. Like because, all right. <laughs> so, what? 
do you qualify as a good song or a good artist? What do you look for in a song, a rap song? What do you look for? I, I want to like, I want to feel some emotion. No matter what it is, like they have to make you feel some type of way. And that's what I don't like about Kendrick because it sounds robotic. It's, it sounds like it's just coming in. He's very clever. Like obviously he's like super lyrical. But with Drake, it sa- almost has that Kendrick type of thing where it's, it's like just monotone in a lot of his songs. Okay, so sometimes feelings is not always felt because of experience. Exactly. And once I saw him, I was able to experience Drake. Exact, but what I'm trying to say also, <laughs> and before you see him, the song itself, the, the 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 concept that he's pitching, like I don't know if you ever had a Mara's Room um, experience, not going to see him perform it, but actually have the experience of being lit and calling someone. Do you ever had that experience? No, I never. Had I know, that. like this, you know Mara's Room though, right? <laughs> yeah, I do. That's like the ex, the ex yeah. with a new girl. Yeah. A new, that a, was sorry, a, the ex was with a new guy. That call. shit went crazy. What was it, yeah. like 10 years ago? But, but you could only really feel that. Yeah, you're right. You could only feel that if yeah. you personally yeah. went through that. Yeah, but it's a lot of things. Like, how about now? Yeah. Like, being like low, 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 low. I don't mean like just low in regards of like just anything. Like, you could pick anything and be low in. But I mean in regards of like not having financially all of that on the board. Mm. A lot of people can't even. There's a lot of people who's born like financially great or mm. born with things that, you know, like for me, I'm not even born with someone being able to really teach me how to drive. Yeah, right. no, you that's know? a that's like, a luxury. Yeah, like how Tupac said, we have to cre- create the like everything. It's nothing to even like a lot of people I know. Like yo, they giving you a car, they taught how to drive, they, a business, everything. I, I don't have none of that stuff. I have to create everything about you know, and I'm the only child too. But everything like so, it's not just about being poor. If you have someone who you know to teach you these things, but a lot of us don't have that. And so it's a lot of things that Drake does in a song that I have experience in and real life. And that you can relate to. That I can relate he to. He makes it. a lot of relatable music. That's yeah. like, that's like basically when he started coming out. I saw him. I saw him uh, so far gone. I saw him here in New Haven at Toad's Place Classic. in 2000. And <laughs> oh my! I gosh. think this. I think this is 20. So far oh, nine. I think it's 29. 2009, 2010, probably because I was even still probably couldn't even get in. I probably still was underage. And I and I and we went in and we saw him. That, it, the that show was sold was, out. Yeah, the show up. was so the show was sold out. He had just done so far gone. So he was just on mixtape level right now. He and he had just did the one. Um, Young Money yeah, was starting the, to come the, out. All this stuff was a, yeah, bro. And that place was no crazy. Beard. But the thing is, the beard. thing is, he. I think the thing with Drake makes it so relatable. He makes music for every single person, whatever what you're going through. Yeah. That's that's what makes an artist too. You have to feel it. And his flow. But that's flow. what I like I about. Mean, nice, bro. He, he was saying. And that's what I like about Tupac. And that's what Tupac's I like. Tupac's amazing because it's emotion. I'm over, I take him over Biggie. Biggie's more lyrical. Tupac is more emotion. I agree with you, Dan. I I actually agree with you. Kanye, do you do you? They're gonna like kill. Your They're gonna kill Dan in the comments. More with makeup on or no makeup? I like her with no makeup on. I tell her that all Shout the time. Shout out to Drizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Drizzy. Hair tied, you know? No makeup mm, on. No makeup That's what you're pretty is. Yeah. I hope you don't take it wrong. You feel me? They're Shout gonna to they're Drizzy. gonna kill they're gonna kill Izzo in the comments on, uh, oh, yeah. on TikTok. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Because anytime, anytime Izzo talks about like rap or hip hop, they're like, keep that white man's voice out of a hip hop. Oh, he doesn't have any voice or any say. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I, and I deserve that. It's fine. Yo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Drake's the goat of our era. Come on, man. Like, what? Like, no, like, I, J. Cole's in my top five. Love of Yours is probably one of my number one songs in life, especially because it's connected to my dad. But love, we really appreciate Love of Yours. Um, but one thing Cole and Kendrick can't do, shout out to them, though. I love them. I love that. It's like one of my fa- they they some of my favorites, but to be able to do a song with Bad Bunny, oh to be yeah, able to do a song that's with big. Rio Santos, yeah, the rap in Spanish, and kill it, and, and sing in and, Spanish, and destroy it. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah, it is unbelievable. So, you've talked a lot about like where you're from and you know coming up. What would you if you were to tell someone some something that would motivate them to get up out of bed and to try something like? What would your motivational quote of the day be? My motivational quote would be that we all going to die. And that when you die, there's nothing to do there in the grave. There's nothing to do. It's over. So you should do everything that you would want to do now. And I remember, like, my uncle died on my shoulder when I was younger in Florida when we was watching Tom and Jerry. And ever since then, I was, like, 12 Ever since then, I told myself that 
I'm going to do whatever I set out to do. And this is like when I came back to New York because I was in Florida at the time. I'm like, what I want to do, I'm going to do because people die. You know, people die fast. And right now, people dying at a high rate. You should do exactly what you want to do. Not what your family want to do. Not Don't date someone because your family want you. Like, they right. don't approve of that nationality. Don't go to a job just because of the money. Do something that you really want to do. Whatever you yeah, set up. Stop because waiting, right? Stop waiting around. Stop waiting around. Don't don't think about anything like that. Thing. You, you're not going to be here that long. Yeah, anything yeah. can happen. It at moves any point. quick. Yeah, bro. Yeah, before you know it, we're gonna be older. And and and, and, and we st- oh, and we know. tend to we tend to not do stuff because of how it's gonna look for other people. People are gonna talk about us. Oh, uh, maybe we shouldn't do it because so and so. Not realizing like they ain't gonna be here either. We all oh, none of this shit matters at all. Facts. Like there there are some guys who are really talented in makeup that are straight and everything. Shout out to the shout out to the gay people though. I, I really rock with them. But like that are straight. But won't pursue it because they they're scared of what people will think. Yeah. Every time I go on shows, it's always woman who's doing the makeup. Anything for me, yeah. yeah. But there's some guys who're so talented that won't do anything because they, you know, they they're, they don't want to be perceived as something. Exactly, yeah, that's crazy. and it's like you you gotta die. This is your talent. That's what you would you do this in your alone time. No one sees you. This is why, like, when people like when people are like, oh, why are you doing this? You looking for? I do. I did this before Instagram even existed. I'm gonna do this regardless. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do this. Like, I'm training regardless. I'm upside down regardless. I'm in a handstand regardless. I'm on dumbbells regardless. Regardless of anybody, I don't care. Like, regardless. So why not show it to people? Regar- I'm gonna do regar- it regardless. regardless. No regardless. matter what. Like, literally, after all of this. In the crib, I'm still doing this. Yeah. So if this is what your passion is, what you're gonna do, why not do it? Why you like? Uh, I'm not gonna do it because what, what someone's gonna say. That's the whole thing. Me. That's and the whole thing like is that. people. Yeah, you. People are afraid yeah. of what people are gonna think. And oh. I mean, he's inspired me. I was upside down on a barbell because because of him. <laughs> like you're inspiring people. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Because I didn't, I had no plan watching. of meeting you. you. Never know. You never yeah. know who's watching, bro. Like I'm posting it, not like. I'm going to do it anyways. I'm you, posting you know what we do? Yeah, you may as well record you, 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 it. And you know what oh, we do, well. especially with the social media thing now, is like you get caught up in like the numbers of hits or the numbers of views. So you're like, if it doesn't do as well, the video didn't, this video did perform as well as the last one. You're like, you want to give up. Or you're like, no, this shit ain't, it's, it's not hitting the same as like the last one. Like you don't know who's paying attention or who's watching. You don't know the quality of people that's And you just have it. to know it's going to work. Yeah. You just have to like have blind faith that no matter what you're just gonna you're gonna keep pushing keep doing what you want to do and you're gonna get there it's gonna hit yeah just it's, 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 it's about being consistent it's all about being consistent it's all about being consistent that, that's what that's how you get better in training that's how you get stronger you don't get stronger by doing like I, I can't do like if i never train and do some push-ups and then like the next day like oh i'm strong no i gotta keep doing it yeah i'm better yeah. than people because i've been doing it but like i'm literally that guy like i'm that guy yeah, yeah. like i'm like Shout out to Kobe, rest in peace. Rest in peace. To, that's one of my favorite. That's my favorite player. Rest in peace to Kobe, right? That's one. That's my favorite black mama. But his mentality, right? He's at the after the gym. Everything is done. He's still there. People's going home. You know, a lot of people do things because of money, which is fine too. That could be your motivation. Money is mm-hmm. a good motivation, but it's just like your work ethic. And for me, bro. I saw this. That's quote. what it is. No, no go ahead. Bro. People think it's like I hate when people say like, "Oh, this dude got lucky. This this one got lucky, or oh, whatever." That's bullshit. Yeah, it's all bullshit. bullshit because everybody put their work in, but they don't see the behind the scenes. Because you don't really see the behind the scenes of what Kobe did until you, you know they actually really show what he was so doing. They see they see the success part, they and they the think, "Oh, product. he was just naturally born with it." No, he he probably wasn't even that good when he was younger. He, he wasn't. worked. Oh. He worked and pushed and pushed and just made shit happen, yeah. and he became one of the greatest how, players. How many NBA players do you see the, after the game? They in the club. Oh yeah! Out. Look at James Harden, James Harden. Kevin, yeah. bro. Kevin Durant, OD. bro. Come on now. Yeah. If, if KD the pushed as hard as Kobe did, bro, KD no, would be nobody. Nobody. KD nobody. Nice, not even bro. Jordan. No offense to like Jordan is like number one, but nobody pushed like Kobe. Nah. Yeah. And and that, that, that for me that really is like Bruce Lee, Kobe, Mayweather, people like that is my top. Like I, people won't even give like Beyonce. I Drake. don't usually get upset with, like when <clears throat> actors and actresses, people I never met died because I don't know them. But when you see someone that's like so invincible die like Kobe did, you feel that like yeah that was oh bro. he shook up he shook he up the world he was not that day, supposed yeah. to die nah yeah that's not that's that wasn't fair um no I'm glad that his wife 
one that case of course she did well, that oh, was, yeah. what was oh, that yeah. about the dude recording the 16 million because yeah. the cops Come the cops on, were man. taking photos of the bodies of course she won she deserved the, after to the crash she won 16 million that was which terrible is a drop in the bucket they were, they were taking her. pictures send, sending them out to people that's disgusting that's the, that's terrible so like, she what is that she, so she won that case rightfully so and she's donating Rightfully the money, so. and, the, and 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 the money's getting donated oh, to Mamba man. to the yeah Mamba Kobe Mamba picked, Foundation. Kobe picked a right like, not to put anything on Kobe, but like Kobe was in a little scandal. She still stayed by him. Yeah, she's yeah. she actually loves him. She is a ride or die. So yeah, yeah. to see that, that's 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 and her daughter too. <clears throat> that's so sad. I like, know. Kobe's no, your favorite. No. Kobe's your all time favorite. Kobe's my all-time. I literally have Kobe jerseys, everything in my crib, like everything. I have a video on my Instagram. I'll send it to you, of me giving a tribute. My girl Leslie was sleeping, that that day that he died. I woke her oh, yeah. up, yeah, like shook up emotional. Um, Kobe's yeah, that was a my sad favorite. Day. His last game, I cried. Like when my, my my pops, my pops. He was going crazy the last game. Yeah, he like, dropped like I'm not, I'm 65 not points. Oh, I'm not even. I'm not like. Yeah. I don't care about like of this of anybody. I'm literally serious. Like who? My favorite Kobe, Mayweather, Bruce Lee, Dragon Ball Z. You know, anime, anime yeah, and Drake. Right. Those are like people that I always you know. Kobe's my favorite favorite. Like his last game, I cried. I literally cried because of it. Watching it, I yeah. cried because of it. And he did and go off. He went off that game. Yeah. <laughs> my dad yeah, was 60. sick. Yeah. My dad was sick at the time. I went, when Kobe died that night, I went to my dad. My dad and my dad died not too long after. Um, he died in March. Kobe died in January. Um, I went to the room like at nighttime because I was in the room because I was like shaken up about it a little bit because it's my favorite. And I went to the room to like talk to my mom and dad, and my dad was crying. Like I feel bad. I feel bad. His daughter too. It's not fair. He was crying, even though he was also dying, even though he was in excruciating pain. And shout out to my pops. Like that. Like shit. Like shit. Like that. I don't know if I could curse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Shit like that is it touches me because it's like someone who's going through so much pain, who's also dying, could still have empathy. Who who can still feel. Like I want to be that. I want to be like my pops in regards of feeling. No matter what I'm going through, I want to be able to feel. I want to be able to feel someone else's pain, you know. And he, 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 like to see him cry, even though he's going through his own pain. That was, that was crazy to me, you know. Yeah, because I remember you were talking to me um, before. You were saying that like you need to feel your emotion. Like a lot of people, they'll try to hide it and put it to the side. Oh yeah. And that you gotta, you know fight through it and feel it and let it happen facts bro like after after my dad passed being that he died at a young age um let me let me rewind a little bit i did ellen right and um i believe it was january or february like whatever and i think it was february and covid happened like the end of march or something like that yeah and um and then that whole Situation happened with Ellen with the all the rumors and stuff, right? But I was getting like forty thousand views of video at the time. I was like pretty. I was going up. And COVID happened. Ellen went to the old thing. Everything stopped. COVID alone stopped everything. Like so, no one cared about my videos or anything. Like the how I was going up, it just oh, it came down. Yeah, it came down. And then my dad passed in March thirty first. I literally just stopped training. I stopped doing everything. Like I was, I was depressed. I didn't realize it, but you know, I was depressed. I was like not training. And when I did try, I was try. I was just not getting no. Your mental space wasn't in the right. It wasn't there. It wasn't there. Like like a lot. Of, I was get. I would get contact with mad shows and mad places. And and um, I can't even name all the places. Mad places was hitting me up at the time because of like doing Ellen or like all this. And I was just like, I'll do it. I'll do it. I would say yes, and I could show you the emails. I would say I could show you the emails. I promise you. I'll send it to you. I'll show you. I will say yes, and I'll be like, I'm sorry, I can't. I can't act on a date, and they'll be like, I, I know they probably think that, like, but I, I, I literally was in a bad state, depressed, and I was thinking about my father, and I was like, you know what? Now I'm finally getting my momentum back. Now I'm like, I gotta, you know, I'm gonna die one day, and my fa- if my father was here, he would want me to continue. Right. So I'm just continuing now, and yeah, my, that's my motivation. I, I still feel like he's with me. 
I still feel like he's with me. So I was just like, I'm just going to continue. Yeah, you have he to. He, yeah. You so, got to do it for him. Yeah, I was Keep pushing. I, I, I gained that weight. I, I went from 150-something to, like, 178, but not good weight. Like That's me right now. All my, all my stuff went to my stomach. Oh, and gosh. when I when I actually did Italy, um, they I went there July, like, 20-something. July 20-something. And I had two weeks or oh, three weeks to, like, I was still, like, pretty, like, heavy, crazy. I couldn't, like, I couldn't perform. No way I would be even. I, I wore the fast in two weeks. Wow. Yeah, I was, like, 180, whatever. I wore fast. I got to 160. I went there. I was mad weak. So with water fast, what, what is that you said about? Okay, so I went to, like, a depression after my dad passed. And um, it was right after, right after that. He, he was able to see the LN performance. So that made me proud. He was like, I love you. That's awesome. He was, it was, yeah. That was like, I'm really happy about that. And he, it's crazy. Anyways, um, after he passed, I got into depression. I, I tried to train. I did try to do, I tried to continue. Like he died and COVID happened. So it stopped so my all momentum. Everything yeah. stopped. So when it, everything started feeling back to normal and everything, I tr- I tried, but I kept falling back into depression. I gained a lot of weight, like, f- like 150 to like 180, basically. And it wasn't good weight. Like I wasn't training, it was all in my stomach. I don't gain weight in my face. I gain weight in my face and my stomach, so, but I gain weight. The two places you don't want. The two places yeah. I don't want. I ride in my legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My cheeks, no, no freaking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no freaking. But my stomach and my face, that's wild. So, um. Yeah, I was getting depressed, and I missed him. It's little things that I miss, like his song when a song plays, like you know, like God's plan is one of his one of, like one of his stuff. Like that, this, ironically, the, the the line that he like is like, uh, I don't want to die for them to miss me. Yeah, like, yeah. He he was saying that he was sick at the time. He was saying that like I really like like this, like this part, and so like things like that. Like there's so many things that that people don't even realize, but um, I was depressed. And I wasn't training, I wasn't ready for for a while, and I'm finally getting back there. But when Italy hit me up to do the show in Italy, I did a water fast because they I only had like a three week notice, so I did a two week. So water you have to crunch. You're like, I gotta get this. I gotta get it done. I'm finally. I've been procrastinating. I've been making not making excuses because I I had excuses. Like I'm really is there's no like no fake in this. Yeah. I'm really sad. I'm really depressed, but. I know my dad wanted me to continue, carry the name. And, like, I still feel like I'm making him proud, so I'm going to I'm gonna try to continue finally. Like, and I'm like, I'm going to do it. So I just, I was weak. I, I just did the water fast. Like, it's crazy. But, but what is that? So what is, when you say water fast, you just, you just drinking water. You're not eating nothing. I'm just drinking water. I'm not eating nothing. At just all? Drink, at all. You, don't, you don't get tired? You don't feel a pain? You I'm fatigued faint. crazy. Like, like, the one thing, <laughs> <laughs> one thing that happened to me, like, my only thing that bothers me is that I get a little blurry. Like, I see a little blurry. Like, when I'm looking at my phone, like, I can't see and everything. It's like, you need glasses? <laughs> like, you need glasses? Like, like I, nah, can't I need see. calories, bro. Yeah, yeah. I can't Wait, that was see happening it. during the water fast, or that was just, it's just normal? Nah, it was the water fast. Oh. Uh, water fast. But I realized I. Two I weeks. Like two weeks. Shit. You, you didn't eat anything. I didn't eat anything. Two weeks. And then I got on a plane. My friend that's died. like borderline death. I know two weeks is supposed to be the limit of when you die. It was wild. Nah, no. it was wild. Food, you could go for like 60. You could go longer no. than that. Really? You could go longer like, yeah, than that. Yeah. Well, you die. <laughs> yeah. I would die. You could go, like, you could go without food. I would be like, yo, they I say you, can't, you can't go without sleep. sleep without is, water. Sleep is wild. You're going to have it. If they say if you go, I think the second day you go without sleep, you start to hallucinate. hallucinate. Nah, no, nah, you, you need, need sleep. You need water. You don't need food. Because like I can't do 48 hours without four for four from Wendy's. No, you need, yeah, you need sleep before you need food. I did two weeks. I took the plane to Italy. I, um... Got there, got in the hotel. I still haven't eaten. I'm talking to the producers and stuff about when I perform. I go there. I have to take COVID tests, obviously, because they they strict down there. Right. And um, I'm waiting to perform. I'm. They tell me you want. They they give you a box of food too there. Now you want to eat. I'm not, I'm not eating until after after I perform, because I want to make sure I, ne- I like you know this is my first perform back. You want energy though. This is my first perf- Yeah. I, yeah, I, I was gonna ask that too. How do you even have the energy for? Bro. My dad, 
Yeah. This is my first performance back. This is my motivation. I haven't performed. Like, I denied everything. Everything that hit me up after, like, people hit me up after my dad passed. I said, I said yes. I didn't say no. I said yes. I said no, like, a week. Per, they, they probably hate me right now. But I said yeah. I said, I said no, like, a week prior. I, because I, deep down, I knew I wouldn't be able to. At least it was in the day of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was like a week. And I knew I wouldn't be able to. I'm like, I can't. I'm so sorry. At least you, like, at least you were met, you mentally were aware enough to know, like, I'm not in the right space for this. I'm not in the right but space. then you also were in the, you, you, you also said, I gotta get my, I gotta get the, out of this. I gotta get out of this. Because you could stay stuck in that funk or stay stuck in that, yeah. really stuck in your head, and then. Because you could just, you, really you could have went there and you really just sink. It could have just went the wrong way, and then. Exactly. You know, the two weeks, I'm weak, I'm fatigued. I. Because not only you. physically but mentally. I, pro- I strike me. I promise you, I didn't eat, and. On a plane, they even offer it. For, like they pay, they pay for that too. They offer and stuff. I'm like, I'm good, I'm good. I ain't gonna lie. And you're looking at the little cookies. I take a nibble of a brownie on the plane. I take, I take a nibble. I'm telling. I take a nibble. <laughs> but they, they brought like chicken, fish, and everything. I took a nibble that of a brownie. It was a small ass brownie. And that shit probably tastes like a steak, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that shit probably tasted. <laughs> shit, bussin', bussin'. Yeah, <laughs> bro. And then I got there, and then I didn't even. Perform. I got there. I, I believe Friday, because I was supposed to go there. I got there Friday. I didn't perform until Monday. And I left Thursday or once, I think Thursday morning. And it was crazy. Like, I got there. I was mad fatigued. I had to watch other people perform. And, uh, like, I was, I was nervous. And I killed it. I got a 95%. Wow. There you go. Or just to say yes. So I probably have to go back. But, um, That's dope, yeah. bro. That's very dope. So how long was the competition? You can't, can you talk about it or no? I perform only once. It was um, you perform once. If they if they vote you higher than all the other ones, you could come back. Mm. I had the high vote, highest voting. Oh shit! So come back for vote. another episode. Come back for the semifinals. So oh, the semifinals. You, 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 so you go back to Italy. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna have to go back in November. Oh shit! That's cool. That's so sick. That's dope. Make congrats. That's Bro, that's I a big. That's my, big. Taking them on my pops, I I fasted, I was missing my girl, all of that. I was just like internalizing it. And then like I told myself, after I do this, I'm eating, I'm drink I bought a whole wine after everything. I'm eating. Like, so after that performance, during the performance, I had so much like I don't wanna say anger, but like you I don't know what the right word is. But I had so much Tenacity. In me. Yeah, I had something in me that was just like like I don't care if something With a drive, like he had Yeah. I don't care what happened. I'm, I'm like I could fall down these steps. I, I did steps. I went down. It wasn't my equipment either. It was like, f- like equipment that was like not that good, and it was like Shit. crazy. The, the the crowd was like, because <gasps> of the way. Oh the yeah. Yeah, because the, the equipment like th- this right here is my equipment. Like that. The, the, this is what I'm used to. What I got from there is different. It's not like this is pounds, right over there is there kilos. Kilos. Yeah. kilos. yeah. Oh. It's not the same kilos, and it's not the same um, thickness, roundness. Everything. Yeah. It's <laughs> terrible. Pause. Pause. <laughs> super, super pause. No. It was pause. everything that's bad. It was like the lighter this is, the faster it moves. Oh, it was okay. like five pounds, moving that fast, I'm going down thick ass steps. That was one thing I was impressed about with the Snoop Dogg show. I was like, you went up the stairs, and there were some fucking steps that are like and this. And no lie, I felt way more comfortable doing that than doing this one because of the weight it was. Yeah. This one, it was it was so slippery. It was it was like I felt like I was gonna fall the whole time. Every time I was like, please God, don't let me fall. Oh, shit. Like it was that crazy. That no wonder why I was like. <gasps> Myself, no yeah. wonder why the crowd was like that. No wonder why they voted Matt High. <laughs> no wonder like, why. I was like, literally, no, if you see, once you see it, you're going like, wow, yo, this is crazy. Like, I'm literally going through a heart because I don't have my the, my equipment. So what, what are we going to be able to catch this? Uh, I have, I don't know yet. I know I did it in July, the end of July, but I don't know when they're going to. Like, Actually air it. Yeah, air it because cool. I, I probably have to go back as well. So They probably awesome. finished the whole thing before they air it. Honestly, because yeah, I, I, I think that's what they like to do. Oh, make okay, sure then. there's no loopholes. Like, yeah. Got it, got it, got it. Mm-hmm. So, to make so it all connect. Want, but now we want to thank you definitely for coming through. Oh, this was awesome. Yeah, definitely, it's been know, 10 years coming. I've been following him for like 10 oh, years. Shit. Yeah? Yeah, I never met him before. That's awesome. Wow. Today that's we wild. made some videos. So today was the first time you guys linked up. You guys been in communication for that long. But Not today, even like communication, because like, we just started really like, commenting yeah, on each other. Yeah, we have combo combo. I just... 
follow back because I appreciated also his content. Yeah. And it was just like, once I follow someone. Yeah, power, power, social media. That's yeah. it, bro. Yeah, yeah. It. Like, unless you, like, do some crazy. Unless you're, like, a weirdo or something, but yeah. Yeah, no. either. But nah, like, he, he was a good person. It was just like, oh, yeah. And then yeah. from there, I was like, anywhere he went, I will follow him no matter what. So this is yeah. one of those things. That's a real. Um, it is awesome. That's how you gotta I, do it. I don't know if you wanna um, link yourself. So you know, plug your your socials where they can see where they can find you. My Instagram is Christopher underscore Joyce eighteen. Make sure you follow me. That's where I'm most active. It's the same thing on TikTok. Same but it's not even gonna be most active because we're about to get him in, in posting <laughs> on YouTube, Facebook Reels. He's, fl- he's flooding everything. Everything. Yeah, everything's gonna. He's gonna do them all back to back. You know, Facts. back he's, to. He's teaching. If, this is the guy if, that knows. I was say, if you got this guy on your team, you in good yeah, company. Because he knows. You'll be all right. He knows. I'm about to, I'm about to come just to, so you can hook up my camera. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, bro. Facts. yeah, his ISO is too high. He's a little bright. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It is. It is. I don't know. So. And then while, while, you're following, uh, while you're following him, make sure you follow us. For the, sure. the Night Podcast. Night. For the Night Podcast. The best Connecticut podcast. Facts. Yeah. The only. Facts. Hey, the best. We the only really, ones yeah, out we, here. We could, we could, we could honestly say that there's nobody else. We the only ones. Up, so yeah, um, for the night podcast on all socials and Spotify. And Spotify. That was right. awesome. All right, Close it out. Good night. Good night.